It's the most frequent claim by far in ads attacking Joe Biden by the campaign of and outside groups supporting President Donald Trump. Guess what? If you elect me, I'm not going to have you. Your taxes are going to be raised, not cut. Economy in ruins. If you elect me, I'm not going to have you. Your taxes are going to be raised, not cut. Your taxes are going to be raised, not cut. Let's get the facts. We'll grade this claim three ways. It's misleading. It's out of context, which makes it mostly false. Here's why. The clip There's used no in the ads came from this February rally in South Carolina, in, in which Biden right. was specifically referencing the Tax Cuts and Jobs Act of 2017. They, by the way, how many of you did really well with that $1.9 trillion tax cut that increased? Really good shape, right? Really changed your, well, you did. Well, that's good. You must, I'm glad to see you're doing well already. And I'm good. But guess what? If you elect me, I'm not going to have you. Your taxes are going to be raised, not cut, if, you're, if you benefit from that. In short, Biden is going after the top 1% of American wage earners, which makes this a good time to examine the plans of Biden and President Trump. The Wharton School of Business and the University of Pennsylvania analyzed Biden's tax plan. He wants to raise taxes on annual earnings over $400,000, raise the top tax rate from 37 to 39.6 percent, raise the corporate tax rate from 21 to 28 percent, and raise the long-term capital gains tax from 23.8 to 39.6 percent for incomes over $1 million. The Penn Wharton budget model concluded the Biden platform would raise $3.3 trillion in additional tax revenue over 10 years, would decrease the federal debt by 6.1 percent, and most of the tax burden would fall on the top 1 percent. The president is pushing more reductions beyond those in place, a 10 percent income tax cut for middle income earners, a permanent cut of the employee portion of payroll taxes that go to Social Security, keeping the corporate tax rate at 21 percent and cutting the capital gains tax from 23.8 to 15 percent. According to a report by Marketplace Online, Penn Wharton was asked if they analyzed President Trump's tax policies, but they said they hadn't because his policy proposals were too vague to run this level of analysis. The bottom line here, Joe Biden wants to raise taxes on the wealthy. Ads claiming he's going to raise everyone's taxes are distortions, and the president wants more tax cuts. Greg Fox, West 2 News. And the debate on tax plans will likely continue tonight when Kamala Harris and Mike Pence square off uh, in their loan debate. For all our political coverage, just click on West.com and Commitment 2020.